<laughs> so apparently Dislike hates me because as soon as I upload a video, here comes the patch preview. But I digress. We're going to be getting into the new version preview, the warm winter. And this is honestly, I'm hoping going to be some heat. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm like, hey, we better be getting some new content. OK, so we're going to check this out. Let's see what this is all about. Let's get into it. She will become one of the stars in the sky. Okay, I already like how this is going. Always watching over us. That chick looks kind of cool. Let's offer her a final blessing. Dude, I, I'm, I love Who the previews. Talking, talking cat! Death. You're talking to death? Passing down the end is what we do. When it comes to matters of... Okay, life, Barden? Death, Barden lore? is equal. From beginning to end, uh -oh. life is a process of returning. We can always be reminded of the nature of existence. Hey, yo, voice actors a on a journey. thousand? Okay. Death doesn't need to be the end. Yo, new art style? What is this? The beginning of a whole new adventure. And wait, is that Leon? Your mom's heading off on an adventure. So, Ooh. are you ready? Okay. Obsession can trap you. I think I think this is giving us some lore here. Okay. Y'all think I'll slip with these alt characters. This is where this is coming from, ain't it? Waiting for the end to come. Good night, Acro. Acro. Okay, new espers. Hypnos, Hilda. It's the Valerian. Oh shoot! The pathway through your dreams. Yo, In she looks kind of fire. I, bruh, she's freaking flow. I'm so bad. I use my flow tickets. Okay, Adriana. <laughs> so this is Chantico. And it's an Infernal Fighter. Yo, that Death Guard uh, Hay skin looks crazy. I like that. Okay, warm winter event. So this is obviously the story event. Okay, okay, content. Oh, Adriana's free. I see. Golden City Challenge. Okay. I think this might be like community server stuff. We're gonna we're gonna dive into this and talk about it. Warm up match. Oh, that's where Death Guard hate. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. So that's that's kind of nice. So system update. Shane Mother! Bro, listen. What the heck? Y'all knew it was time. Y'all knew it was time. Wait, Andrea's new ritual miracle boss? Oh my god, bro. Dude, what the fuck? What the? F new equipment? Let's fucking go! Dude, this update is crazy. Oh my god. Will this be the end for me? Yo, this like... Will all this pain... Yo. <laughs> this is what? I think I'm crying. Awake. Who is this? Like, what is going on right now? Okay. Oh my god, hold on. Let me wipe my tears away. Dude, I'm really crying because you guys don't understand. I didn't think they were going to drop two massive things, pieces of content at the same freaking time. This is just, oh my God. <laughs> let's, 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 let's break this down. Okay. So we got to take a look at obviously new characters coming in. We got Hilda here. We got Hypnos, AKA Hypnos. She is a controller unit. So I'm going to assume she has some form of either CC, some sort of, you know, sleep stun something along the lines of that uh, and she might be able to either extend or she might be able to do something i would at least hope uh kind of looking at like and let's see if we can see like her animation um like her skill icons uh hopefully she can do something along the lines and she might even bring like a new form of uh stun like entanglement that does like some sort of like a uh, life steal or something so it's a lot of different possibilities that we could be seeing with this character um and or being able to see a character that's able to attack 
enemies during sleep and not wake them stuff like that right so i'm really intrigued to see what her stuff is going to be like um obviously we're going to be getting patch notes relatively soon probably sometime tomorrow or knowing this like it could be in a few hours so there's that too um but then we also have uh adriana um which or adriana or adriana guys excuse me my bad i said adriana adriana uh, or adriana adriana or adrena or adrena how do we say her name which one is this i'm overthinking this but either way uh chantico i'm probably gonna start calling her that um she looks pretty cool another furry um and i don't know what direction they're really going to be going in with her she's a fighter um not 100 percent sure if she's going to be I don't know. I can't really think of like what she's going to be doing. Um, looks like she has like this whole chili pepper thingy going on. So we'll see how that's going to actually work out. But she is going to be free, free 99. Right now, they did tease this new skin here. Uh, it's kind of funny. They showed it because it didn't show what it was attached to initially. But this is going to be attached to the warm up match. But we'll get to that in a second. Right. So obviously we have the warm winter event that's going to be coming. This is a trial have to see how that's gonna go if they've either you know let it stay difficult or they've made it a little bit easier but it looks like we are able to get chantico from the freaking event and this is a freebie r6 so base copy and the r6 included i'm telling you guys if you have not been playing this is something you don't want to miss i would definitely say go ahead and grab that snag that bag that okay <laughs> but either way we also have the golden city challenge and this is kind of interesting because this is completely new um but it says pop quizzes await in the res uh, uh resplendent golden city come join in in the fun uh now the thing is is that this looks like it's kind of like a betting game so i think you're able to bet gold and depending on if you win or lose uh you get a certain amount back or you might lose that gold so that's kind of interesting um it looks like there's also between comps like who's gonna win against who so i don't know that's kind of interesting we'll have to see how that's gonna go but i'm assuming that's what it is warm-up match obviously is gonna be massive this is where we are going to be getting the um the twin uh costume so i'm kind of intrigued to see if they're gonna then rotate back around or if we're gonna be seeing a death guard buy skin somewhere um just because of the fact that this is a unit that a lot of people are gonna want just because of the fact he's free i mean everybody is gonna have death guard hey so i don't see people not wanting this skin are you going to be able to realistically get this skin if you just are starting out? Probably not because this is a competitive game mode and you got to get into Masters, uh, which is going to be a little interesting this season. We got a lot of powerful espers um, and yeah, I'm really, really hyped for this. I think we're going to be doing a lot of live streaming from the warm up match like this is going to be again. This is something we really have been waiting for. So really, really happy system update, guys. Formation management optimizations. This is freaking huge. So this means that we now can can select multiple different formations and i'm assuming with these formations you can potentially have them geared differently that would be really nice um but it does look like you are going to be able to swap in and out of those so if you wanted to use you know say uh the way that we usually do our, our pep runs or fafnir or chronos runs we run like that speed team um for the high for the lower uh, clear count for like leaderboards and then we go back into our consistent team or unless that is your consistent team but it all really depends on where you're at in the game um but that is really really huge Freaking Shade Mother, dude. So I, 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 I wasn't expecting this. So Shade Mother is here. Um, they haven't really, like, they haven't showed us what exactly it looks like it's going to be dropping, though. So I'm going to presume, though. And actually, no, I'm lying. They are. Um, and actually, Icebound. The homie, me and him have talked about this, and we actually kind of came to this conclusion that Shade Mother was going to be dropping more than likely the Relic Boost stuff for the new sets. And this is something that is going to be huge because there is a complete six new sets. It's not anything old. It looks like they're all new. We might see some ones like the old Astro Witchcraft set might be brought back. That might be a thing. But this is extremely exciting um, because it is a Shimmer based boss, which means the combination and comps might vary a lot so very very intrigued to see how that's gonna go now after shade mother we got andrus okay so with the andrus okay guys they actually showed us the new equipment sets and 
I don't know if any of this is subject to change or, you know, if they're going to be doing any of that. But I honestly don't think that's going to be the case because they're already showing them off. And the thing is, is that the very first one uh, is called the relief equipment. Uh, so it is a four set. So when teammates cast basic abilities, the wearer has a 25 percent chance of performing an assist attack on targets with their basic ability only triggers once per turn when there are multiple wares what the heck okay so okay okay so that could be worn a, a good amount hold on let me turn this down real quick because we're gonna let this play all right so next set is the harmony set so ally damage plus 10 percent for two turns after casting ability three unstackable that's interesting that's actually kind of interesting Harmony set is a little interesting because I'm trying to think of like what scenario we I would use that in. But we're going to talk about these in a live stream more in depth, guys, as we break these down. But yeah, so that's the second one. Now, the third one is is called Calamity. So uh, it is a four set as well. Damage against targets with a debuff plus 20 percent. Oh, my God. For each additional debuff on the target, damage plus three percent with a maximum uh, additional increase of 15 percent. Uh, dude, listen, Embla, Jiang Mong, you know how many units is about to eat off the Calamity set? Dude, the Calamity set is about to be nuts in PvP. This is definitely going to be a problem set. I honestly think that this is going to be a problem set. What? Damage against a target with a debuff plus 20% and then up to an additional, dude, up to an additional 15% on top. Yeah, get out of here, dude. That set is about to be broken. All right. Uh, now, next up, we have the Brawler set, which is a two piece. So a basic ability damage is plus 15% consecutively casting a basic ability further increases its damage by 10%. Now, the crazy thing about this ability is that there's no cap. And so I'm going to assume that anyone that's able to pop off their basic abilities multiple times, um, it's going to be really, really rough for anybody on the receiving end of that so it's going to be kind of interesting build wise i feel like this might be something that goes like really nice with maybe something like the astralis set where you're actually getting that physical turn back um instead of like an ocean waves where you're just getting a cooldown. so again this is going to be a replacement though of like an avatara but again it's something that it's going to have to be worked out we're gonna have to really see but y'all let me know what y'all thinking for that though so i'm pretty intrigued to see what that's going to be like all right, and then we have, oh, that one went a little bit fast. We have Shield. Uh, so Shield has uh, damage taken minus 12% after taking damage if the attacker is non-shimmer and not at an elemental advantage. The wear's damage taken is further reduced by 6% for one turn. That's going to be kind of nasty for uh, tank meta. This is probably going to be better to wear than wearing like a shield um, set. Like that, that set is Adamantine or Adamantine or whatever it's called. They might as well throw that set away. Shield set is honestly going to be better because why wouldn't I want the damage reduction? Like that just makes so much more sense. So yeah, that's going to be really, really nice. Um, and granted, it does count to an individual character, it looks like. Uh, I still feel like that's going to be more of an advantage, especially for targets that you're trying to keep alive or just make them tanky, right? Uh, and then the very last one which is the hold fast equipment. So this increases the allies base defense by 12% of the uh, wares resist. Affects stacks when there are multiple wares. Holy crap. Okay, so this is something that actually might kind of go crazy on like Donar. Not gonna, not gonna cap. Like this is actually gonna be something that's crazy probably on like a unit like Donar. And you in trying to build like a specialty team that's built around this is gonna be kind of interesting. So I'm really intrigued to see what they're gonna do as far as like the grind and how the drops and stuff is gonna look. Cause oh my God, this is about to be insanity for us on top. Um, I will say these are again gonna fall under specialty sets. I don't think that these are gonna be sets early and mid game players are just gonna be going crazy for and trying to use some might give you a little bit more utility like i said the calamity set seems kind of ridiculous but again a lot of this does seem like it's going to allow us to be able to mix up some of our builds uh so we're doing some things outside of just being able to be fast right so uh, again it's a lot of a process that we're gonna have to be doing here uh hopefully there's a new fusion that comes out of all of this especially with uh shade mother coming out so we'll just have to wait and see uh but then 
to add even more, they gave us Andras, okay? Uh, and this is going to be the new Ritual Miracle boss. We were completely wrong. We thought that this was going to be a dragon of some sort. We actually thought it was going to be like um, the tied to Siegfried's story. Uh, I forgot what the dragon's called, but uh, this is completely different. Now, if we go, hold on, let me see if I can get a good shot here. Right here, right here, right here, right? Fourth Ritual Miracle boss. Uh, man. Man, 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 this is huge. Uh, I'm gonna presume though, that this is probably more than likely going to be something relative for in-game players. Are newer players gonna be able to do this? Maybe to an extent, but I'm assuming that the team comps are gonna be quite you know, interesting and vast. Uh, it looks like as far as attribute goes, let me see. So this is a Shimmer Ritual Miracle boss. So this is gonna be really interesting. Um, I'm also speculating because they're running two poison units I think poison might be kind of nice here, but they're also running uh, the new unit Hypnos here as well with Jenny, which is kind of interesting. And this is one of the things that I talk about that they do sometimes where a older unit will come out. And and this is the thing, right? I'm also noticing that there's four tablets here in the front. And let me see if I can play this right there. Okay, so four tablets in the front, right? Uh, and then you have the boss himself. And Keep in mind, guys, we just had a Celestial Anomaly boss that was exactly formatted like this. And I think that was the Scorch Messenger. So it looks like Andros might be really honestly modeled after the Scorch Messenger. So this is honestly like... I can't express how huge this is because this is, again, more content and a new grind for us to take part of. I really honestly just can't wait to see what the sets are because that's the biggest thing. What are the freaking sets? So, yeah, really, really hype. New content, Ritual Miracle and Shade Mother at the same time. You you can't get any better than this, dude. It, it is ridiculous. So, yeah, outside of that, uh, it looks like that is the entire warm winter freaking event. Um, dude, we got a lot that's to come in this patch note. We got new characters, obviously, to go over. Obviously, to see what mechanically is going to be happening with the new content. That's going to be huge. And in new sets, guys, this is going to absolutely flip the game upside down when we're talking about builds and meta for PvP. This is just going to give us that equipment and build diversity, which I'm really, really praying these sets are really, really good. But again, I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But that's going to be that with this one. Uh, yeah, everybody stay blessed. And uh, yeah, stay charged up.